U.S. aid has defined a market system as having multiple components. A market system includes value chains, the relationship among them, the broader support and enable environment in which they operate, and the households and communities engaged and affected by these value chains, both directly and indirectly. We can appreciate how market systems are inextricably linked to value chains, making it difficult for any value chain to succeed should breakdowns in any component of a market system occur. Examples of market systems impacting food security include, but are not limited to, SPS systems, like I work with, agricultural research and extension systems, agricultural marketing information, and statistical analysis. USDA's mission is to provide systemic support to agricultural value chains across all of these market systems. In the United States, we have 17 different agencies supporting all these aspects of the value chains, from farmer resources in terms of, again, research, statistics, markets, risk management, and credit, to more general things like natural resource ma management, food quality, protection, and trade. But we all know that the African context is very much different than the United States. In Africa, market development can seem overwhelming, market system development can seem overwhelming and viewed as a kind of a nebulous idea that ha floats around with little connection to what we are actually doing in the field. How do we fit into this market system? USD, DUSDA believes that this market system approach to ag development must focus on where these systems interact with the value chains that we are all working with. If we focus on these intersections, we can enhance value chain programming while helping to improve the very systems which all these value chains rely on. So for an example, at first glance, you think maybe horticulture and livestock value chains do not really intersect. But some agricultural inputs input into both value chains and are monitored through a similar food safety system. A food safety system is innately designed to protect human health, but in do so, it must take into a variety of different aspects along the value chain, such as production practices, inputs and additives, food processing, and consumer handling of the actual food product. In the horticultural food value chain, farmers use chemicals to control damaging pests, like the recent fall armyworm invasion that we're all concerned about across this continent. This may be in the form of pesticide to reduce this crop damage, or in fertilizer to help increase, increase uh, growth and production of their crop. But any chemical that is used in production is a possible risk to human health at the last phase when the consumer actually eats the product. And this is also true for livestock production when veterinary pharmaceuticals are used to increase animal health or milk or, um, production. And these inputs also can be a damage to consumers eating the end product. So you can see there is an intersection between the horticulture value chain and the livestock value chain in the food safety market system. And the good news is that when we improve the food safety system for one value chain, you improve it for all value chains. Chemical residues are tested for in the same food safety laboratories that veterinary drugs are tested for. And if that laboratory capacity is improved, it has an improvement on many value chains. Further, strengthening food safety monitoring for residues has broader impacts on other issues like aflatoxin or heavy metals that are also contaminants in foods that we are concerned about. They utilize very similar systems to, to uh, address these human health threats. What is even better is that when there's improvements in diagnostics of food safety labs, uh, improved enabling regulatory environment, um, access to equipment and training, the entire agriculture system becomes stronger. Uh, we know that this infrastructure continue, contributes also to plant and animal health, and we have a more robust food production system supporting the value chain. Labs are used to detect harmful chemicals, contaminated illegal or can, um, counterfeit inputs such as poor quality seeds, um, uh, counterfeit drugs, um, fertilizer. Um, labs also ensure that agricultural products um, meet uh, international standards or, or lo local standards for trade. They also detect harmful pests before they destroy crops 
and also um, animal diseases before they become a threat to livestock populations. So by improving these lab systems, we enhance the value chains and increase food security across the, con the continent. This is just one way to address market systems intersections um, through value chains. Another important thing to remember is that we talk, as we talk about the market system, we are talking about something too big for any one organization to take on alone. All this means that it's important for implementers to understand the, that other agricultural work taking, there is other agricultural work taking place in the same space. There are often dozens of implementers working in agriculture at the same time, and in fact, many of these may be actually working on the exact same value chains or market system. If we can work together more effectively, we can create opportunities to leverage one another's good work and increase the possibility of success for everyone. Most importantly, those, for those we are trying to help, those farmers and stakeholders involved in agriculture. As one final thought, the value chain approach has been an important tool in achieving food security in Africa. If we can add this market systems approach to the value chain work already happen happening, we will have a much more robust tool. However, we must remember that domestic improvements to value chains don't work alone. To achieve food security, a bountiful food basket must exist. Market systems that allow for the efficient flow of food across borders are critical to both food security and the country and its trading partners. Thus, a maize value chain in one country is linked, can support and be linked to a value chain in another country. It's all one system. When none of us, us implementers, governments, um, when none of us have to do this alone, the market systems programming becomes much more manageable. So again, USDA is very, very happy to participate in this conference. Um, I and I have seven other colleagues for the Foreign Ag Service who are seated among these various tables. Um, we look forward to collaborating with USAID to develop, um, to leverage our strengths to develop um, a much stronger market systems approach and increase food security in Africa. Thank you. Thank you.